everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Thank you as always so so much for tuning in and taking some time out to watch this vlog. So today's vlog is all about handovers. I know I completely forgot that I was going to do this vlog a while back and then it was only because someone messaged me and said oh could you do one on handovers because I think that'd be really good and I thought oh my god I was supposed to do this vlog so thank you to that person very very much for reminding me and here we are. Now for me, I've never had a problem with a handover. I don't know why, but I've always just done it and it's like, yeah, whatever, it's just handover, it's fine. Um, but so many people get scared. I don't know why. Comment below, guys, why do you fear handover so much? It's really, I don't know, it's okay, it's okay. You're just discussing your patience, that's it. So first thing first, of course, we cannot do a handover without Espar. I'm not going to go into this too much because I'm sure you know all about Espar already, especially if you're more second year, final year. Espar is something you get taught at the very, very start. So I'm not going to talk about this too much. However, if you want the links below, I will put them below in the details and you can have a look around Espar and these different techniques that you can use to sort of structure your handover. So first tip for handover, be on time. Nobody wants to be waiting around to leave the shift for you to come and do handover, whether you're days, whether you're nights, whatever. People just want to get home and people just want to start their shift. So it's really important, I think, to have an on-time handover and just relieve everybody of their duties and start the shift well. Second tip is obviously has to be communication. You can't have a handover without clear, concise communication. So just I know it's quite hard to fit a lot of information in a short space of time. So it's really important that whatever patient you've got, you want to get straight to the point, put bullet points at the side of your sheet. If you've got a handover sheet and um, you want to make notes before the handover, just put make some bullet points of your patients and the really important information that they need to know. They don't need to know little things like what they wore that day or some little things like that. But it's more important about the care that they're going to receive and anything that you need to hand over that's really important that those people need to know. And if those people were on the night before or the day before and they know the patient, it's even more important that you keep it narrow to what they really need to know as well but also not missing important information if that makes sense my next tip is actually for when you're on shift so make sure you're documenting as you go so if there's really important things that pop up about each patient make sure you're writing it on your sheet make sure you're putting it in your notebook things like that so that you remember to hand that over during the handover if that makes sense it can be quite easy that I've gone into a shift before and first thing in the morning something's happened or something's gone on and then by the time I'm finishing at eight o'clock at night so much has happened like I can't even remember what I did in the morning so it's really important that you document everything and that you're writing notes as you go as well about your patients so that you can give that really important handover to the next person. This tip's all about more like body language in a way if that makes sense it'll make sense in a minute so when you're giving your handover don't be this person that is patient x has diarrhea not sure why no don't cover your mouth don't cover your face you want to stand or sit tall expand your lungs you want your voice to project your teeth which I know is really, really hard. It's easier said than done. I'm that person that is an introvert. So I know it can be difficult. But yes, just make sure like your, your voice is clear. Like there's nothing in your face. You haven't got your hand over up here. Just like this. Open, expand. Project your voice a little bit. Maybe a little bit louder than you would speak if you're a quite a quiet person. If you're quite a loud person, maybe turn it down a little bit. But yes, just, yeah, it's all about posture as well. So just make sure, open, you've got your hand over. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Patient in bay, blah, blah, blah. Patient, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, go through it. And it will just come across as a lot clearer, I think. And lastly, practice. Just practice. I know it can be quite hard. I think your very first handover especially, 
you're going to be a bit nervous and a bit like, oh God, I've got a handover. I really don't want to. You've been avoiding this forever. But it's really important that you just practice. Even if you want to practice at home, get your family members involved, do a Zoom meeting because everything's online now. Zoom meeting with your student colleagues or anyone like that. And just have like a practice handover where you can all practice amongst each other. Or if you're doing it in front of your friends and family at home, no more than six because COVID restrictions, um, you can just sort of do the handover to them and just keep practicing it and you'll get into that routine of actually feeling confident in standing in front of people and speaking as well I think that's a really important thing however if you do get anxious and nervous to the point where it's really affecting you to do some things like meditation or breathing techniques take a slow deep breath in for four seconds hold it for two and then a slow breath out for five or six seconds I think it is I can't remember the technique now but there is another one where you follow a square so look at a picture frame or something and breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and that'll just really really help focus your breathing and just sort of relax you a little bit there's also naming things so you can look around the room and name things as you see them so pen table computer floor window chair picture little things like that because it helps you just readjust and realign and just focus on the there and now rather than all the anxieties and the thoughts that are going on in your mind and that'll just really really help to make you feel a bit more comfortable in that sort of situation as well and if you're at the point where you really 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 are struggling nothing is working you hate life you cannot physically do a handover speak to your mentors speak to other nurses on the ward about how they cope and the things that they do and see if they can suggest anything else for you to help you grow and build and just be able to give just even one handover would be a massive bonus i think they could be a huge asset to you so yeah just ask so that is all I think. I think I've covered everything. I'm really sorry if I've missed anything out, if you would like me to talk about anything else about handovers, but my mind is just gone. I can't think, physically think of anything else I could cover. It's just, it is just more about you and your anxieties, I think, and helping you sort of structure your handover maybe a little bit better and positioning yourself and making you more confident. But it is just down to practice. You can't expect to be this amazing person at handover right away. I think people take years of practice sometimes to do that. I'm not very good at handovers sometimes. I sometimes forget things and then I've gone home and panicked. So I've rang the ward or the nurse or my placement or wherever I've been. And I'd be like, oh my God, I completely forgot to do this. Will someone do it really quickly or hand over it really quickly? I'm so, so sorry. I've been mortified because I've actually forgot that. And luckily it hasn't been anything major. It's just been a little thing, but it made me feel awful at the time. So yes, I absolutely get that and that's okay. But just, just take your time keep practicing and you'll be absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm.